Have you guys ever seen those videos of those secret factories that make fake sneakers and then those stores that sell exclusively fake sneakers that were made at the factory that the real Nike and Adidas sneakers are made at? Well, today we went to one of them and it was absolutely shocking. We are here, my apologies on the lighting, it's very harsh pot lighting and I'm too tall so my face is right by the lights. But this is the infamous, famous, can it be infamous and famous at the same time? It's the unauthorized sneaker store, like this is apparently stuff that comes from the factories that make the shoes. I'm gonna see if I can spot the differences. I'm really curious, I've heard about places like this. I've never been to a place like this and I mean, there's, there's probably 50 pairs of sneakers here, we're gonna check out most of them and uh, I'll give you my thoughts. So here we have the Soulfly Miamis. I need to be very careful with these cases. They said this is something that I really, really want to add into the collection if I can get them out of here. It's a little bit tight. There we go. I got them out. These Soulfly Miamis. These are beautiful. I really want these ones with the orange swoosh. They look really nice. But then more importantly, I really, really would like to get these ones. The orange Soulfly Miamis. I mean, check these out. I can't tell the difference. The leather feels amazing on these. I'm being 100% honest with you guys. These are high quality fakes. I mean, I don't endorse the wearing of these or anything like that, but I would be hard pressed to tell. If I got a pair of these in the mail, I don't know. Like, the weight feels good. The leather looks good. I've never seen a real pair of these in hand, but these look really, really, really high quality to me. All of these are going for around 400 Canadian dollars or 300 US dollars, so they're not cheap by any means, but I mean, versus the authentic pair of shoes, the price is obviously a lot lower. We have some fragments down here, which like these feel, you know, like the leather is probably a bit more premium on the real fragments, except like they're using good materials on these off-white Jordan 1s. Let's check these out because I do have a pair of Jordan 1 off-whites, so I can really, uh, I mean, the tongue and the, the thing, the flapping out things, they have the raw suede on the back. The foam panels look the best. There's just a little bubble there, which would make me a little skeptical, I feel like. The rest of it looks pretty freaking good. This is terrifying. Here we have the not for resale, no photos, black and yellow Jordan 1s. I mean, check these out. These are the real pair. I need a pair of these in my life, but they're just so expensive. These ones, I mean, the leather feels a little crinkled on this side, but besides that, I mean, like these are, the, the visually, they look perfect. Here we're getting into the big stuff, the Travis Scott Jordan ones right here. Uh, once again, I don't own a pair of these. I owned a pair for like four days and then I sold them. But from having them in hand from my old pair, they do look very similar once again. I mean, the leather looks good, the suede looks good, maybe a little bit lighter than the real pair, but besides that. Now on top of the Travis Scott 1 highs, they have the Travis Scott 1 lows as well. And once again, same deal. These ones seem to have the proper weight. They feel the same weight that they should with the real pairs. The leather feels like maybe a little bit less premium than the real pairs. The suede, maybe a little bit more coarse than the real pairs, but visually, like they have the visuals down to a pat on these. Looking at them, like if someone took pictures of them, you would be hard pressed to actually tell the difference. And that is why I put all of my trust into today's video sponsor, Legit Grails. So let me tell you a bit about Legit Grails. Legit Grails, as you can probably tell, by the name is a legit checking service. It's super easy to use and first of all, they're giving away a free legit check on any item with code free trial. They do it on their website and even easier, they do it on their Instagram in the DMs. All you need to do is shoot them a DM, say, hey, Tom sent me over with code free trial and you get a free legit check. They've been doing it for years. The people that work there are experts at legit checking and have legit checked 
tens of thousands of items. So they know what they're looking at and they're gonna give you the best results for the best price. The majority of Jordans that legit grails legit checks, this is mind blowing, the majority of Jordans that they legit check are found to be not authentic, which is crazy. I mean, there are a lot of fakes out in the market, fake Jordans, fake Yeezys, fake Supreme, fake Louis Vuitton, fake Gucci, they do all of it. It's not just sneakers, it's clothing, it's luxury goods, it's designer items, it's hype beast clothes, it's everything under the rainbow. Legit Grails has got you covered. I'm gonna leave a link down in the description to their website, their Instagram, and their Facebook if you guys wanna check them out and get their legit checking services. Just make sure to use code free trial and you don't need to pay a penny. Also, they give you a legit grail certification so you can show everyone else when you're selling your shoes that they have been legit checked by legit grails. It's a nice little stamp of approval to give your buyers that certainty that they are buying a legitimate product. So that being said, thank you to legit grails. Let's get back to this fake Yeezy sneaker store. So thank you, Legit Grails. I appreciate you. You have saved my ass, and I'm sure you'll save a lot of people's asses if these are on the market, because they'll actually be able to tell the difference. I won't, but they will, because they know what they're talking about. Travis Scott 6 is right here. I own this pair. The suede is definitely way better on the real pair, but visually, once again, these are almost perfect. Like, Christian, isn't this scary how, like, they look exactly the same? Wow. Oh. Wow, the Mars Yard. This is probably one of the most authentic if or this is probably one of the most expensive if these were authentic. The Mars Yards. I don't know if this is supposed to mimic the 1.0 or the 2.0s. I can't really tell the difference between the two, but either way, it's worth thousands of dollars, the original shoe. Um, these ones are a little bit easier to spot because the materials are so strange and unique on the real pairs that it's just hard to replicate them. So I've had real pairs in hand and I can tell the difference on these a little bit more easy, but this is still like, they, visually, once again, it looks almost perfect. Okay, these are one of my favorite sneakers in existence that I don't own yet. Uh, the UNC, or sorry, UNC, what am I saying? I'm tired, forgive me, 13 hour time difference. The Union LA Los Angeles. These ones are hard to tell, except for the Jordan is a little bit bigger. Besides that, I mean, the leather once again, but visually, the Jordan's a bit bigger. Besides that, they got these spot on. They got the correct laces. I think mine came laced up though. I think that's another problem, is that they supposed to come laced up. Because I got the blue pair, I'm 99% sure they came laced up. So that's another tell. But besides that, this is, um, you guys need to start paying attention for these things. Okay, a bit of a switch up. We went from a very questionable area of town with a fake sneaker factory store to this is maybe one of the most luxurious malls that I've seen in Asia. This is brand new. I don't know what it's called. What is it called? It's called Ayala Malls Manila Bay and it just opened up like last month. It's brand new, like it's like four or five weeks old and they have a bunch of sneaker stores in here. So naturally, I am very excited. I'm not gonna lie, the selection at Adidas is a little bit disappointed. They have these. I don't know what these are called, but this looks like it could be a pretty good basketball shoe. But other, I mean, they have like Ultra Boost and the basic stuff. A little bit disappointing at Adidas. Oh, okay, they also have an Adidas original store. Hopefully this, these generally have better things than the Adidas performance stores. Hopefully this, this one should have something cool. I mean, these aren't hyped up by any means, but this is a shoe that I genuinely do like. The new Adidas Oswego model in this Addy Preem colorway, which is really cool. The suede is, is insane on this. And there's this weird, I guess, Addy Preem material and just a very out there silhouette as is. I love the colorway, just gray and white and cream and then bang, that infrared and then bang that teal. This is a really good pair of shoes and they're cheap too. They're like, I don't know, like 120 US dollars, which is a really good price for this. Like seriously, great value. This store is a lot better than the Adidas Performance store. Oh, they also have this colorway as well, I should mention, which I might like even better. This is amazing. This is for fall and winter. You are good to go with this pair of shoes. Oh, the suede is so nice on these. I might honestly walk in and no, 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 I'm gonna control my impulses. I'm not gonna impulse buy these, but they are a very nice pair of shoes. This store is interesting. It's a retail sneaker store, and then you flip it around. 
on that side, it's a consignment clothing store. So they have Chinatown Market, Supreme, North Face, Billionaire Boys Club, and then they have retail sneakers. Interesting setup. Let's check it out. New Balance and New Balance and New Balance and New Balance and Pumas and Pumas and Pumas and I actually really like these Asics and then I really like these except they are far too expensive for me to consider purchasing. This is one of these problems in life where I have absolutely no utility for this like there's no reason for me to purchase this it doesn't make my life better in any way I have no need for it the price on it is <sighs> I mean, it's not terrible. It's like 60 bucks. But like, what do I need a smiley face basketball for? What am I gonna do with this? This is why I shouldn't go shopping anywhere. picked up a little something, I'm, I mean, I might as well. I've been working hard in the Philippines and I literally haven't bought myself anything. I got a couple free gifts from amazingly wonderful people out here. But I haven't bought myself a souvenir. So I got myself a little souvenir. It was like a $160 souvenir. But it's not that bad, it's really nice. It's really nice. I'll show you guys this in a second. Here is the pickup that we got, Chinatown Market. This is the first piece of Chinatown Market clothing that I've ever owned in my life. But I, I saw it, I completely impulse bought this. I think it's worth it though. As I said, I haven't bought anything this entire trip. Let me try this on for you guys really quick. It is bright. and I have the rainbow guest going on here with the rainbow smiley face up here. This is a ridiculously high quality print on this. So really good materials. We're like, oh wow. The print is it's like rubber on the hoodie. This is not cracking off anytime soon. I absolutely love this. It's absurdly bright. It's absurdly obnoxious. I'm very happy with this purchase. I think this is gonna be the souvenir for this trip. I have absolutely zero complaints with this. This is gonna wrap up the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. Really, every single one of you. You truly mean the world to me, and I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new video. So until then, peace.